In the last few weeks, some countries have slowly been emerging from their corona hibernation. And now, even Italy, one of the hardest hit countries, is starting to open up again. After eight weeks of silence, today the streets of Italy are slowly coming back to life. Construction sites, factories, and parks reopening. Italians will be able to travel locally and order takeout. Joggers allowed once again to run in parks long off limits. In Rome's iconic Campo dei Fiori flower market, the florists have returned. Ura! Italy is getting a back to work. I do worry about Italy though, because Italians are all about kissing and hugging. But with coronavirus still out there, they can't do all of that. How are they gonna show affection? Huh? Because, I mean, we, we can replace handshakes with elbows. We can just do that thing. But that won't work for the Italian kiss. Good to see you, Giovanni. <laughs> Basically, what I'm saying is, post-coronavirus, every country is just gonna have to become Russia. We do not touch. We do not kiss. When I make love, I just stare so hard at them that they can feel it. Now, this all seems reasonable enough, right? Everyone just needs to wear a mask when you're gonna be outside around other people. But apparently, it's the furthest thing from simple. In Miami Beach, one park is now shut down after police issued more than 7,000 warnings over the weekend to people not wearing face masks. In Michigan, a security guard was shot after a dispute with a customer over a face mask. Police are also looking for this man who wiped his nose on a clerk's shirt when he was asked why he wasn't wearing a face covering. Whoa, why are people so angry? Forget a vaccine. Scientists need to start working on a chill pill. Health officials are asking for us to cover our faces to protect ourselves, and everyone's acting like they have to get spayed and neutered. And the people who don't wear masks are ruining it for everyone. Like now, they had to close down that entire park in Miami. And Miami, you know I love you, but what are you doing? Getting mad about being asked to cover your face? I've been to Miami. Nobody's looking at anybody's faces. One of the most inspiring things during these times has been seeing people step up to help out strangers. And some of those strangers are actually turning out to be really old friends. The Irish are returning an old favor in helping Native Americans who have been hit hard by the pandemic. More than 170 years ago, the Choctaw Nation sent $170 to help with Ireland during the potato famine. Now a fundraiser for Navajo and Hopi families has raised over $2 million with many contributions from the Irish. This is so beautiful. More than 170 years ago, the American Indians helped the Irish during the potato famine, and now the Irish are helping the American Indians during coronavirus. Most of my Irish friends can't even remember what happened last night. Oh, I spent 15 days in a British prison for something I didn't remember. And this is really nice, but if I were Native American, I'd be a little suspicious of any European trying to give me a gift. I'd be like, yeah, thanks for the money. Why don't you go ahead and lick it first? All right, any smallpox? Okay, we're good. Let's move on to nurses. They're the frontline heroes of the pandemic and the only people you thank when they stab you. Yesterday, some of them got to visit the Oval Office for a presidential reception that quickly turned exactly how you would expect. So PPE has been sporadic, uh, but it's been manageable and we do what we have to do. We're nurses and we learn to adapt and do whatever the best thing that we can do for our patients to get the job done and get the care provided. And that's what we're gonna to continue to do as COVID-19 continues. Mm-hmm. Sporadic for you, but not sporadic for a lot of other people. Oh no, I agree, Mr. President. Because Absolutely. I've heard the opposite. I've yeah. heard that they are loaded up with, with uh, gowns now. Only Donald Trump would dismiss the concerns of a frontline nurse at a reception to celebrate National Nurses Day. If Donald Trump was a 911 operator, that would be a disaster. Hello, 911. My house, it's being robbed. Well, I've heard a lot of houses aren't being robbed. In fact, most people have told me their houses are not being robbed right now. What? Sir, I wasn't blaming you. I mean, you called me out of nowhere and started complaining. It sure feels personal, so personal. And you can tell Trump took it personally because Donald Trump has the least subtle body language of anybody on earth. I mean, look at him, soaking like a toddler. National Nurses Day was supposed to be my day. 